Do you remember the night you stood me up at Overton's bar? Do we... Do we have to go over this now? I waited for hours for you to show up. Sat there cradling my beer like some... pathetic loser. (laughs) I, I kept telling myself that there had to be a reason you weren't answering your phone. An emergency... Or, or an accident, or... A... Look, I... <laughs> you know, but that wasn't the worst part. You know what happened then? I got in an auto cab and drove around half the night, stopping by all of your regular haunts just to see if I could find you. How pathetic is that? <laughs> At first, I was furious. But then, after hours and hours of going around in circles, I just felt empty, discarded. I was an asshole, Davina. There's no excuse for what I did. And then you even cut contact with me during business hours, too. Don't think I didn't see you talking to Carmichael and those other auditors. I saw you around. But you never came to see me. I burned a lot of bridges over the years. For a long time, that was the only thing I was good at. If there was a way to make it up to you... Oh, no. We're way past that. I know. And that's why I'm not asking you to do this for me. I'm asking you to do it for... The the greater good, I guess. To take a couple of scumbags off the street. These bastards killed a family of three in an auto cab just a few days ago. And if they aren't caught, they'll do it again. We have a chance to stop them. Is that for real? Or are you just making up shit to try to persuade me? It's real. The two of us just have to play our part, and the cops will do the rest. God damn it. It's too late tonight. I'll have to get some things organized. I'll do it tomorrow. Thank you, Davina. This is- Shut up. Just shut up, Rust. Yeah. Okay. Do you still have my number? I do. Good. Send me through your measurements so I can size up a uniform. I need you to meet me back here at the office first thing in the morning. At dawn. Yeah, sure. And Rust, don't be late.